<clears throat> Yo, what is going on guys? It's Kill Logue for the win here and bam, I just reached level 116. Anyways, I'm back bringing you guys another Let's Play or a Farming to Max Out Town Hall 10. I believe this is going to be episode number 12. And uh, but yeah, before we get into the raids of today, I just want to show a quick replay. Uh, basically, this guy had a really strong Town Hall 9, and you'll see in a lot of my gameplays upcoming that I'm uh, raiding these nearly maxed out Town Hall 9ers, just because they have a bunch of loot in their storages, and that's what I go for. Anyways, on this guy, I thought I had all the troops out of his uh, clan castle. Apparently, I did not. He only had a couple archers left, though, so it's not going to be too big of a deal. So, uh, my hog should be able to go ahead and do a bunch of work on this guy's base. Uh, he does have a giant bomb there that's going to do a bunch of damage. I'm going to drop another healing spell there on that. And some random phone numbers call me. I'm just going to ignore that for now. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to put my phone on silent because lately people have just been blowing my phone up uh, in general. But especially during the commentary, it seems like every single time somebody calls me. So, yeah, there goes my phone on silent. And I'm in commentary mode. Anyways, you're going to see a lot of the ham strategy for me, the hogs, archers, and minions. This has proved to be extremely effective and just really fun to use because the minions just fire over the walls and they do a ton of damage as well. So they are really, really good to use with the hog riders and your heroes. <clears throat> so, uh, like I said, this was like about a 500k raid, but it was just a pretty good replay in my opinion because this guy had all these level 8 and 9 walls and he had level 7 wizard towers and stuff like that. But still no match for the Hog Riders if you know how to use them accordingly. You can take out virtually any Town Hall Niner base. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show a couple more quick replays of the ham strategy. This was right after I first started using it and I was just having loads of fun using it. So I figured I'd show it off a little bit for you guys. Ooh, is this, is this person calling me again? Oh no, they texted me. Anyways, yeah, as you can see... As you can see, we're making our way through this guy's base. Unfortunately, has an air trap, but my heroes are going to do a ton of work here. And uh, yeah, sorry about the beginning of this game, uh, this video. Nothing too special. Just want to show off me farming with the ham strategy. Now this one was kind of cool because I only used 14 hog riders on it. And notice how exactly that I use them. I'm going to start off by killing his barbarian king. This guy's actually a town hall niner with a pretty weak base. Uh, his expos aren't loaded. He only has two wizard towers. I don't even think he has all four wizard towers. Uh, also, his air defense is really bad, and he has only two out of four air defenses, and they're both outside. So that's what I used my uh, 14 hogs on. I used like seven on each of the air defenses just to be sure to get those taken out. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with all these minions. And this is what's really cool about this strategy. You can even use it in ways like this where you go ahead and take out the air defense and buildings like that first and then you can just drop your minions now my hogs have died off mainly to the ground unit defensive buildings and my minions are just flying around there's only one archer tower left and one tesla so that's actually the only thing that's really going to do much of anything to my minions this wizard tower is going to keep shooting at them but it's not going to do too much damage uh finally it does kill off a few of them but then i'm going to go and go in with my heroes use their abilities and they are going to make their way through to the rest of the base pretty quickly so pretty easy to get loot on that guy. Figured I'd just go ahead and show it off. And I'm gonna go ahead and go back to base. Upgraded cannon to level 11, which used to be max. That's gonna be max for Town Hall 9, but no longer max for me. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this new uh, level 10 archer tower inside my base. And then I wanna show off this level 8 wizard tower that I just got recently. Pretty sick, pretty sick in my opinion. And then we're gonna go ahead and skip ahead to the next raid against Lord Rick T. Rich T or something like that. I don't even know why you'd want a name like that. We're going to start off by drawing out his clan castle troops. Then we're going to go for his barbarian king. We actually have a go wipe on this guy. Uh, a little bit of a weird strategy. Uh, a Not a go wipe exactly. I have a golem and pekkas, but I don't have wizards. Instead, I have healers. And I was hoping that the healers could do well to keep my pekkas and my golem alive, to tank and the, the pekkas to do a bunch of damage. Uh, this raid was definitely lacking some wizards, though. I'll, I'll say that, though. God, I just feel like I had to sneeze. Anyways, yeah. This raid was definitely lacking some wizards. It would have helped out to have them. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. I'm starting to get sick lately. I'm not sure if I'm getting sick or if I am just... Uh, I don't know. It's just the weather lately has been kind of crappy. It's been raining a lot. It's been starting to get kind of cold. 
where I live in the city that I live on the coast of Mississippi. Anyways, uh, yeah, as you can see here, my healers are dying off pretty badly to this air defense. And they're not really doing a good job of healing my troops anyways. I mean, they're healing the P.E.K.K.A.s, but the Golem not so much. The Golem just split up. So I'm going to go ahead and have to drop another Rage spell to help get in and get to this guy's loot. Right now, it's not looking so good. I actually had another healer. I probably should have dropped her at some point here. Uh, yep, there I go ahead and drop her. Uh, hopefully, she can get in and actually help these guys out. I'm going to have to use a healing spell as well, my guys, in the center of this base. Because it's not looking so well for them. Unfortunately, that healer got hit by one of those dark elixir traps or whatever and it actually killed him. even though they call gold now i know they call gold now it's a heat a seeking air mine that's what it's called anyways uh yeah we're making our way through this guy's base it's not looking like i'm gonna get the rest of the loot uh this was right after i got the level four pekkas guys so just keep that in mind i just want to show off how good the level four pekkas are and i say that but honestly i don't think the level four pekkas are good enough uh i think that they could actually use a buff and it's sad to say that. It really is sad to say that. Uh, the Pekkas, I just don't see how they'll, they'd will they actually be very useful in a trophy push if they're not useful for farming. Uh, not farming Elixir, but just farming Gold and Dark Elixir. I, I just don't see how they'd be useful in a trophy push at all. If they're, you know, maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Maybe I should have used Wizards. Uh, leave a comment how you would use Pekkas now at level 4. Uh, please don't leave a comment if you have level 3 Pekkas because I've been using those forever level two and stuff but the level four pekkas did i did i do wrong there and not using wizards i think i did it's pretty evident that i did but i just want you guys to confirm it maybe you can give me some advice on how to use them especially if i'm going for a trophy push soon uh starting april 1st guys right now it's march 18th and on april 1st i'm starting a big trophy push in my clan i want to get to 30k uh 30k cups i might kind of turn into a dick not really, but just get kind of strict on the trophies. Like, if you're not pushing, I might actually have to kick you from the clan at some point. Because I want to get really high up in trophies. I mean, I myself, I'm going to go for Champion League. And I say that, but it's going to be such a grind. I might give up. I might puss out once I get to, like, Master 2 or something. I might just break my iPhone and, and quit Clash of Clans. Uh, <clears throat> but in the case that I don't do that, I want to go for, ma or for Champion League, guys. So wish me luck. Uh, I know a few of you guys say you think I can make it. I think I can make it. It's just, it's not the fact of, oh, I can make it a Champion League. It's the fact of, do I have the patience? And, uh, <coughs> you know, I gotta, I gotta save my nerves here. It's gonna give me some anxiety uh, raging at Clash of Clans. I've pretty much quit Call of Duty. I barely ever play Call of Duty. And when I do, I don't go for gameplays for YouTube anymore. It was just too frustrating to do that. You know, it just really made me pull out my hair and, you know, just rage. So, uh, yeah, I've been sticking to Clash of Clans lately or just not gaming at all. Just, uh, really, I've just been working a lot. I've been doing a lot of work. I've been putting in some serious work lately. And uh, that's the main reason that I haven't been uploading. Also, I have been going out a bit. But anyways, that's besides the point. Uh, here again, I'm going to fail. This guy had, like, an 800k raid. But the problem with it was his Infernos were at the bottom of his base. So it's kind of tricky because I didn't know whether I should go from the bottom. It looks like he might have a lot of uh, air trap or spring traps there. And also the two wizard towers with the inferno towers would be hard to heal the hog riders. <coughs> still going to finish with like 600k or something. So still pretty good, pretty good. But like still a bit of a fail because it could have been, you know, more obviously. Uh, but that guy had a pretty strong base. And I think I did right. I think I did good in attacking from the top of his base. Because I might not have even made it that far if I attack from the bottom. Because those Infernos, you can't heal them uh, while they're getting hit. You can't heal your Hogs while they're getting hit by the Infernos. And those two Wizard Towers being there might have been pretty detrimental. I'm not really too sure. But anyways, I'm going to show a replay against my base. That's pretty interesting. This guy's going to start off by dropping one Hog Rider. Um, I don't know why he did that. He's going to waste that healing spell, first of all. I guess he was checking. Trying to check to see if I had Clan Castle Troops. Obviously, I did. Obviously, that one hog rider is not going to do it for him. I'm still going to have a bunch of clan castle troops in there. And he decides to go in with a raid spell instead now. Now, that was a huge fail. He needs his healing spells so... I mean, he's in dire need of them right now. But it's too late. His hogs are already dead that quickly. They actually got molested by my Inferno Towers, my Expos, and my Teslas. Are you serious? No, it's, it's, it's game over, bro. You just can't even... 
You can't even do it. You're no match for me. I'm sorry, but uh, that was a mistake attacking me with Hog Riders. This base is officially Hog Rider proof. <coughs> I know I still need to change it since I've been a Town Hall tenor, and I've yet to do that, but it is officially Hog Rider proof. You can't three star this base with Hog Riders uh, unless my Inferno Towers are just dead, unless they're completely dead. And yeah, that's not going to happen because my town hall is outside and you're going to go for my town hall before you go for anything. Uh, unless you're that guy. Anyways, uh, <laughs> what do we have? We have another replay. This guy actually has some level 3 archers, uh, two giants. I guess they came in his clan castle, so I don't really know what level they are. But this guy must be a town hall 7 -er if he has level 3 archers, right? Or no, he must be like a town hall 6 -er, cause yeah, he must be a Town Hall 6 or a Town Hall 5 or I'm not too sure. Anyways, he's going to be going for my Town Hall. My Town Hall actually has 5,000 health, I believe. So it has a lot of health. And I have this Barbarian King by it. And I only keep him there just because there's really no room for him inside my base anymore. And I want him to kind of guard my Town Hall just to be, you know, a little bit intimidating. Uh, he's not really there to do much, to be honest. My Queen, I keep her asleep because I don't want her to die while I'm away. I don't want to come back to a dead Queen. So I actually keep her asleep, like, all the time now. So, yeah, this Barb King is actually going to come through and kill the shit out of all these archers. They can barely even harm him. It was pretty funny watching this replay. I was like, there is no way you're not going to at least get my town hall. As you see, now my uh, Barb King actually has less than half of his health. So this guy's going to go in with his clan castle troops. And unfortunately for him, <coughs> my Barb King actually goes for his archers first. Because somebody donated that archers first in his clan castle instead of the giants. So now uh, that my Barb King has killed him off, he's actually going to drop like two he uh, lightning spells on my town hall. He still doesn't manage to get it, so I thought that was pretty hilarious. Or no, one healing spell. So he got 0% on my base, and that was a huge fail. Pretty hilarious in my opinion. I got a pretty good laugh out of it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Uh, it's not often that somebody actually tries to at least get one star on you and actually gets 0%. So that's always pretty interesting. Anyways, now I'm going to collect some loot from my base and go ahead and start my wizard tower to level 8. It's really exciting. That's going to be my second wizard tower to get to level 8. Also, I have another builder available and enough loot to go ahead and get this Alexa Collector to level 10. So yeah, getting some stuff done. I'm going to go ahead and go to my research lab or my, my laboratory. I'm going to look for level 6 wizards. I don't have enough. I need like 200k elixir for that. So we're probably just going to go ahead and skip ahead to the next battle. Or no, we're just going to skip ahead in general. Uh, looks like I went AFK for a while or something. I probably didn't really raid anybody or anything. And I have some loot at my base. I got uh, just enough actually to get this wizard started to level 6. Now, it's not a huge buff, but it's really nice. They look a lot cooler. Uh... And, you know, the plus 10 damage per second does help for sure. But the plus 8 in health is actually a joke. They should have gave it at least, like, plus 20 in health. I'm not really too sure what's up with that. But, yeah, it is what it is. I'm not going to complain. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and bring this cannon inside. Go ahead and start this gold mine to level 9. So, I mean, this is it, guys. Farming to max out tunnel 10. I'm literally showing you all of the upgrades. I'm even going to show a bit of me, you know, boosting some stuff. Uh, there's Dark Drill started to level 3. Making some progress. We're making some progress, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I pretty much saved the best for last in this raid. little spoiler alert. I'm going to start off by checking for Clan Castle Troops. Go ahead and draw this guy's uh, heroes out. He has a Builder's Hut in the corner, so that's pretty beneficial for me to get this Archer Queen all the way outside. Now I can go ahead and drop some Barbs and Archers on her. She has pretty low health, so I'm not going to go overkill on her. But I am going to drop a few minions on this guy's Barb King as well. Then I'm going to go ahead and go in with a whole bunch of Hog Riders from the top right angle. And see what we can get here. I actually have four healing spells. No, yeah, four. Not including the one that I just dropped. So that one is going to heal a bunch of them. I kind of did manage to get it in between. And now most of my hog riders are on the bottom. I'm mainly going to focus on them. It'd be pretty useless to drop one on the top. Although it looks like the ones on on the left have kind of meet, met up. Well, not really met up with the other guys. They all died. Anyways, now I'm just going to focus on these hogs on the left. They're kind of meeting back up. Looks like I may or may not have to drop another healing spell. I probably won't though because that, that one healing spell did so much work on my hogs that I had already. 
uh, dropped it on. So no worries. They should be able to go ahead and go around and destroy the rest of the sky's defenses. Whilst I drop my minions on the other side of the sky's base. And they do a ton of damage with nothing to worry about except for a couple air traps here and there. Uh, you know, I haven't been running uh, into them a lot lately. So that's definitely a my, uh, major plus in my eyes. I hate air traps. They're annoying. Especially whenever they kill like 50 or minions at once. They're overpowered. Uh... I tweeted that or something recently. Air traps are overpowered still. They need a nerf. They need a nerf. Luckily, that one didn't get too many of my minions. They weren't bulked up too much. But anyways... <coughs> sorry, like I said, I'm getting sick. Anyways, uh, we're going to get about 770k on this raid. Pretty solid. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. That's going to be the end of the video. Uh, leave a like if you did enjoy. Leave a comment on some troop combinations that you want to see for my trophy push upcoming fairly soon. Uh, leave a comment on your thoughts and opinions, period. Thanks for watching, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Alright, it's Kill Luke signing out. Peace.